The very first werewolf mythology I want to talk about is from Inuit culture. I researched the Inuit culture thoroughly, and like all cultures from around the world, they have a unique werewolf tale. Their werewolf is called the Amarok, a giant mythical wolf with razor-sharp teeth and unique predatory instinct with incredible strength and extremely heightened senses who hunts alone instead of in a pack, and they usually hunt humans that venture out at night alone. In various accounts that say Inuit believe that the Amarok was the first wolf on earth, it is claimed that the tales of the Amarok originated within Inuit stories about the now extinct dire wolf, but I think it would be me. The second werewolf mythology I want to mention and tell you a little bit about is the folklore of the El Cadejo. The El Cadejo is a legendary dog-like creature that comes from the region of Central America and Mexico. It is believed in most Central American and Mexican cultures that dogs are sacred to help lead the dead souls into the afterlife. So this is where the folklore originates. In the folklore, there are two, usually a white and black one, which represents good and evil. And they are spirits that appear at night to travelers. Did you realize that there was no howling at the moon or silver in Wolfsbane mentioned with the Amarok and El Cadeo in these two myths? I did. Maybe a magic spell or two and a curse, but none of the above at all. There you go. Two different ways to reinvent the werewolf.